guys what's up welcome back to another video today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Roblox GFX so I do it a different way than most people do but this I feel like this way that I do it is a little bit easier I do certain things my own way that I figured out that's easier for me so um, just if like you could figure out if this way is easier for you or maybe you want to go to a different video and try something else out but we're gonna get to it and I'll show you guys every step to make a Roblox GFX. You'll need a few things for this um, GFX. You'll need the um, application Blender. And you'll also need Roblox Studio. And in Roblox Studio, you will need to download the plugin Load Character. Um, so I'll put this link to this um, plugin in the description so that you guys can download it onto your computer and so we can you could actually figure this out today I'm going to be using the youtuber Azaria I don't know how to say it but <laughs> she builds stuff on Bloxburg and I'm a big fan so I'm going to use her avatar the GFX for today so what we are going to do is we're going to press low character if you already downloaded it and then we're going to put in you or whoever you're doing's username in this case it's um, <laughs> okay, and then as soon as you do this, you're going to make sure spawn at origin has the X over it. And what you're going to do is you're going to press spawn R15, and it should be in your explorer over there. So now let's go over to her. And if she, I think she's a little sunken in, yeah. <laughs> um, but what I like to do so it makes me easy, makes it easier for the thing I'm about to do is just do like slide your like mouse thing and like just make like a box around it and then just press delete it won't delete the character but it will delete all the attachments and we don't even need the attachments anyway for this so you could just delete them and it's just easier to see the character now this is the way this is a thing that most people do differently but I do it this way now we're going to get the pose a lot of people actually move it in inside blender but I like doing it in Roblox studio so I can go straight into blender and it works so, and I'm going to give her a little kind of animation. So, let's go to torso. This is just the what I'm doing, but you can move your character. So, you're going to press any kind of um, part of the body that you want to move. But I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do this style. So, after I press what I'm going to move, I can press rotate. And I'm going to rotate it the way I want it to rotate. Okay. And then I'll press the move tool and move it down so it's all perfect. And make sure when, when you do this, in model, it says rotate zero studs, move zero studs. So it's like you, it can, like it doesn't like have to be stiff and barely move. Um, I'm going to actually rotate. I'm going to fix that a little bit. I don't really like that. Okay. Now let's get to her head. And if you can't really see, you could just move your camera. And I'm going to tilt her head just a little bit. And I'm going to move the head down. Okay, and then now you have all these accessories that we have to move. So we're going to click on her accessories in the Explorer. Um, so I'm going to do the glasses first. So let's move them. Once you have moved that to a um, like certain place, move every other um, thing you're like <clears throat> that's on their like, head or whatever you're moving. If you're doing the head, like move all of it so it looks good. Now that we've done that, I'm going to move around the body parts because that just looks really bad. Um, and I'm going to move all the things I need to move. So, yeah. Once you've got her t or him to their desired, like, kind of, like, position, what you're going to do, I don't know if this actually affects anything, but I'm just going to press over here to properties. And you see how it says her name? Just delete that and press enter. Because I, it's easier for me to see no name. And I don't know if it shows up in Blender. I don't think it does. But yeah. Next off is to get your props. I'm doing a sunflower theme for her. So let's just. It's okay. It's a free model. Just search it. Um, And I'm going to. I'll just. I'll do this one. It's like all the same thing. Okay. So once you have got the prop. You can um, move it any way you want. To fit the character, which I'm doing right now. 
Okay, and once you think it kind of fits, or it looks pretty good, um, move it up to fit in the character's hand. Now, Azaria, I don't know how to say it, um, doesn't really have, like, a hand. So, you could just make it look like she's holding it. But with the blocky things, it's just like that. You just have to deal with it. Okay, now that I have my sunflower in place, now is to put her in the scene. So, you could also do this um, part thing where, like, you make the image transparent. But I like doing it this way because, again, it makes the background have the lighting and stuff. But you could also do green screen or anything like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a... What am I doing? Um, I'm going to make the background in studio. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put out a like a base plate like that she could stand on. And it doesn't need to be that big. Okay. And then I'm going to duplicate. This is just what I do. And we'll just put another block on top of the um this one so that we can have a background. Okay. So once you got your desired like measurements for this. Okay. I think that's good. Um, once you got like your desired measurements, you you can put like a background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to images and I'm going to search sunflower. sunflower. Okay, and then a lot of sunflower images come up. Um, I personally like that one. So um, it just looks okay. So we're going to turn that to white or whatever color you want. And we're going to take her. Um, let's, and then to grab the both sunflower model and the sunflower at the same time, you're going to hover, you're going to click one and then hover over one and press command and, um, it should work. Well, I'm on Mac, so I don't know if it works on like anything else, but that works for me. Or you could just do this too. Like, and then move it like that. Okay. So now I have her in place. I think she looks pretty good. Now it's time to import this. So you can't select because it won't let you select your little character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this, hover over the next one, command and click at the same time, and then command and click, command and click. Now we're going to right click. Um. Oh wait, wrong click. We're going to right click one of the parts in Explorer. Oh shoot. Okay, we're going to actually just right click. The, one of the parts like it will still import all of them but like you just have to right click one of those and what you're going to do is you're going to press export selection <clears throat> and I'm just save it um downloads after you're putting it you chose downloads what you're going to press is you're going to save it as just name it something I'm going to just save it as sunflower and save oh wait <laughs> okay uh, I'm just going to name it as sunflower girl it could be anything you want now i'm going to press save and it will save to your downloads or whatever you saved it to so next we're going to go into blender now once you're into blender this is what your scene will look like now this will come up this is blender 2.8 by the way guys but you're going to press over to the side right there like just press anywhere and it works now since there's a block in the middle you're going to press delete x at the same time delete x at the same time so and then it will say delete and you press delete and now next to now to the next step we're going to press file and we're going to press import and we will press right wavefront obj so we're going to press that and go to downloads and i'm going to scroll down my download well i don't have a lot um we're going to press sunflower girl obj or whatever you save Double click that and it will come into your blender. So as you guys can see, it's gray. It's gross. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't look too good. So what we're going to do is we're going to press in this little corner right here. We're going to, it says um, viewport shading and you're going to press that. This little world like thing circle. And it will slowly like load into your color. Now, as you guys can see, you probably think, oh, it's all done. But no, it's not. We're going to go to, I'm, I'm going to show you what I think is the best for me, for my computer. But what you're going to do is you're going to press this context output, press on that, and it'll say resolution. So this is for like the camera size and like the resolution of the image to make it more clear or more, a little bit more like, like low quality. So I like doing 3000 by 3000, but you can go up pretty high, but that's, it doesn't take too long to render with that, and it's just easier. So now we're going to move this light 
it, it's light. It's just just press on light, or you could just press on it, and um, you're going to move it to your character. And I think this is around a good spot. Um, we could always move it later. So now this is the camera which will be taking the picture. So we're going to move that to our image, to our render thing, I mean to our GFX. And what we are going to do is we're going to rotate it to fit our needs of the GFX. So it's kind of complicated, but once it like you think it's looking straight at your GFX, you can stop. But what I do, sometimes it's really hard, you're gonna press this camera and you could turn it to make it straight, like that. There. And then you gotta press the camera again to take it out. So I want this a little bit higher. So now let's see how it looks. That looks really good. So I really like this position for the um GFX. So if you really like your position, um like and you think it's perfect, you can go to the next step. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press render up here, and we're going to press render image. And this will render the image that you just looked like looked at at the little camera thing. Okay. And but it'll actually make it a render. Okay, that lighting is really, really bad. So we're gonna change where the light is. Um it depend like you have to change the light for each thing. It can't always be like perfect the first time. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to move it up. Okay. And we're going to press render image again, and this is what comes up. So, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to keep moving your moving your light to, like, where you want it and where you think it looks good. Um, so, I'm going to keep fooling with it until I find a good lighting. Now that I found a good lighting that I actually like, what we are going to do is... This is basically our render, by the way. Um, I kind of don't like the background because it's kind of blurry and glitchy, but that's okay. But what we are going to do is we are going to press image save as and you can put it basically anywhere but i like putting it in downloads and i will save it as just something so something else okay now that you've done that you can close out of anything press discard changes it doesn't matter close out of robot studio and now let's open our GFX. Okay guys, so this is my finished GFX. I'm pretty proud of it. I think it looks pretty good. Um, you could always crop it in um, like when you press on the image. So I'm gonna crop it just a little bit. Okay, this is what I really like. So sometimes the backgrounds come out glitchy if you didn't pick a really like good image. But I can't really tell in Roblox Studio, but it's still okay. I really like it. And if you guys like this video, make sure to press thumbs up and subscribe for more of it, cool videos, tutorials, let's play videos, and stuff like that. So tell me if you have any questions in the comments, put them down below. But I hope you enjoyed. I hope you made your first GFX. And I hope you get better at it. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.